We're going to start off really basic. Um, uh, first definition that you need to know is port and starboard and how that's defined. So, uh, can anybody tell me what determines what tack you're on? The wind. <laughs> Incorrect. That is still boom the boom That's boom correct. All right. So, you're, to determine which tack you're on, you have to look at your boom. Your boom is on the port side, you are on starboard tack. And the opposite, it's on starboard, on the starboard side, you are on port tack. And that's the only determinant of, of uh, what, which tack you're on. The next definition you need to know is windward leeward. So, what determines whether you're, uh, you know, what, what determines the windward or leeward side of your boat? The wind. Incorrect. Incorrect. And he's probably going to say the same thing again. And it's actually your boom again. Your boom determines whether you're on uh, which side is windward and which is leeward. Because you can be sailing on a beam reach. And coming this way, and uh, you can easily tell this is leeward, this is windward. But if you're sailing downwind, with the sail out, you can't always tell which side is windward or leeward by the, you know, where the wind's coming from. So, you're, if, if the sail is out, in this instance, on the uh, port side, uh, you're on what tack? Starboard. Starboard. And where is your leeward side? Underneath the mainsail. It's going to be over here, and the windward side is here. So those are some of the things you have to have to know to really understand the rules. Um, the other thing you have to know is uh, overlap. What determines an overlap? So an overlap between two boats. is determined by the aftmost part of um, the leading boat. You draw a perpendicular line, and if another boat is in front of that line, any part of it, it's overlapped. And it's continued to be overlapped until it pulls forward and gets clear ahead. So boats are either overlapped or they're clear ahead. And, or clear stern, one or the other. So that's, if you know those three definitions, you can really, you know, figure out the rules. Now, uh, it goes, in this handout, if you start looking at overlapped boats, it shows a bunch of examples. And you can be overlapped no matter what tack you're on, uh, and no matter how close you are to another boat. In other words, if you, extend this line out from the stern, there can be a boat on an opposite tack, you know, several hundred yards away that can be overlapped. So, as the boats approach closer, you know, this comes into play. But anyway, yes. And that's okay. held true at the marks? Yes. Yes. Yes, and we'll get into that. We're, we're going to get into that. Room with the mark. All right, so the basic rules that, that keep you out of trouble start in the beginning of this book with rule 10. Boats on opposite tack. So if there's a boat on uh, starboard tack, you have to avoid, the port tack boat has to avoid it. Okay? Now, uh, that's pretty straightforward if you're going upwind. But what happens if you're going downwind? You got a boat on starboard, a boat on port. So the boat on port has to avoid the boat on starboard. 